Okay, students. So next is question number five. D, E, and F are respectively the midpoint of the sides B, C, C, A, and A, B of a triangle A, B. So there is a triangle A, B, C, and they have said that D, E, F is midpoint of B, C, C, A, and A, B respectively. Okay, D, E, F is the midpoint. Remember, they have said. So we can use this one as information to find out the solution. Okay. So what they have asked you to prove is show that B D E F is a parallelogram. So you have to show B D E F is a parallelogram. So very simple question. If you analyze well this diagram, you can easily find out this solution. You have to show this one is a parallelogram. Means you have to show this and this parallel, this and this parallel, and both opposite sides are equal. Now see carefully. Bo both you don't have to prove because you know that if you can prove this and this parallel, this and this parallel, then obviously it will be equal. Yeah. So equality you don't have to check, okay? Or if you can show this and this equal, this and this equal, then obviously it will be parallel. You don't have to check for parallelity, okay? So any one of this you can show. So the thing is, which one you can show here? So see carefully. What is the information given here? Is only about midpoint. So this is your midpoint. This is your midpoint. This is your midpoint. These three are midpoint. So see carefully. I have to show this and this parallel, right? And this and this are midpoint of a triangle in two sides. Remember some theorem here. Whenever a line is drawn from the midpoint of two sides of a triangle, then that line is always parallel to the third side. What theorem it was? Midpoint theorem. We have done this one. The proof also, right? So simple. You don't have to do anything here. Simply you have to mention since. E and F are midpoint of side AB and AC respectively. Since this and this are midpoint of two side, therefore EF is parallel to BC. Can I write? Because this will be parallel to the third side. How I got this midpoint theorem? So we are applying all the theorem now in the question. Anything you can use it. Any of the theorem which we have studied till now. Okay. So you just need to analyze the diagram carefully and have to know which theorem will help you to find out the solution. Okay. Same way. So I have shown right this and this parallel means what? Obviously, it will be which implies I can write EF parallel to BD. Can I write? This is parallel to BC means what? BD only, right? BD parallel. So this and this parallel I have shown. Now I have to show this and this parallel. I hope you have, you already got the idea. This is the triangle. These two are midpoint of two sides of a triangle. So this will be parallel to. Similarly, ED parallel to BF. Okay. So this you mark it as one. This you mark it as two. So from one and two, what conclusion we can make? One and two. A, uh, B D E F is a parallelogram. So first part is over. Okay, number one is done. Okay, number two we have already done this also. You have to prove area of D E F D E F. Okay, triangle D E F. Right, this one. Let me join this also. Area of D E F means this triangle area. You have to show it is equal to one fourth of area of A B C. One fourth means what? You have to show all this equal. If it is equal, you can see four equal part means what? This will be one part of this four equal area means one fourth of the. So you basically you have to make equation of D E F and A B C. That's what right? D E F and A B C. Uh, what uh, equation you have to? Make so see carefully how I'll make equation. Okay, let me take another page. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the diagram here, right? Okay. So see carefully. <clears throat> this is what parallelogram. We have already proved, right? So this is a triangle which is lying under this base, and this is a parallelogram also which is lying under this base. So same base, same parallel line. Two figure are there. Triangle. And parallelogram. We have a theorem based on this also, right? Area of this triangle will be always half of area of parallelogram. So if it is half of parallelogram, 
other half will be this one so can I say this to equal <laughs> simple right so this and this equal we can easily see here first thing I have to make a uh, equation of a b c you can see question number two how will prove equation of a b c and d e f must be there d e f so see how I'll make area of a b c can I write area of d e f plus area of a b c is which one this plus this plus this plus this right area of d e f plus a f e plus area of c c d e plus area of b d f now from this equation you can see this is an equation where a b c is there d e f is there right the only thing now you have to do is all this other uh, area you have to remove it or convert in this form okay then it will become an equation of only the abc and df after that arrange it you it will get, you will get this one only okay now the question is how i will convert this one so for that i told you right see here carefully this is the parallelogram and this is a triangle which lie under this base and this is a parallelogram which lie under this base only and both the figure lies under this parallel line so what i can say area of in uh, parallelogram BDF and not in parallelogram parallelogram BDF and triangle uh, DEF lies under same base which base FE and same in between in between same parallel line which one EF parallel to BD therefore can I write area of DEF is equal to half of area of BDEF right you can see if this is half of this whole area then the other half will be which one this one right so if this is half this is half can I say they are equal which is equal to half of let me write area of D E F area of uh, B D E F what I can write area of D E F plus B D F right D E F so basically what I'm trying to do is can you see BDF here? This BDF I will try to write in terms of only DEF so that I can convert this BDF in terms of DEF I can write here. Okay, this you mark it as 1. So here I will solve it. So half of area of DEF plus half of area of BDF. Okay, so this half you bring here. So if you bring this one half, this is one, this is half. So how much will be left out here? Half only. DF is equal to half of area of BDF. Okay. So half of gone this one. So area of DEF is equal to area of BDF. So in place of this one directly I can write DEF now. Okay. Similarly I will write similarly area of DEF. Why similarly you can see I have to prove this and this equal right now you can say this and this parallel parallelogram same way you can prove how this will be parallelogram you know right same way the way we have proved this one same way you prove this also you don't have to prove similarly you can write down you just for understanding I'm saying okay so that's that way similarly this also will be equal okay similarly DEF is equal to CDE CDE yeah. and area of DEF is equal to AF E also therefore one implies what I can write area of ABC is equal to area of DEF DEF plus area of DEF plus area of DEF plus area so can I write 4 area of DEF so this 4 bring this side so area of DEF what you will get 4 if you bring this side 1 by 4 it will become area of ABC. So proved your second part also. So third part also 
quite similar not quite similar we have already proved this one you can say this you have to prove area of BDEF is half of area of ABC means this area is half of this triangle you have to show now you know that obviously this will be half this is equal to this is equal to this is equal to this we have already proved right so let me write down so basically you have to make equation of this two right only so what I can write area of ABC now can I write this plus this plus this see carefully very simple proof number three area of ABC in terms of BDF I have to write right so ABC what I can write this whole area is equal to area of AFE AFE means can I write BEF okay let me write first otherwise you will get confused right AFE area of AFE plus area of C -E -S, uh, C -E -D, this part plus area of B D E F B D E F or you can write here D E F plus area of B D E F B D E F okay now see carefully this plus this what I can write D E F D E F only right everything is D E F here so this plus this okay let me write 4 D E F already we have proved this one right area of 4 so from this can I break like this 2 D E F plus 2 D E F if you want or what you can do is simply you can write this one 2 D E F plus this one is how much area of B D E F this D E F plus B D F D E F plus B D F is how much area of B D F only right is equal to now this one what you will do is this is 2 D uh, 2 D E F 2 D E F means what D E F plus D E F so can I write again B D F so 2 D E F means B D E F only plus area of B D E F okay so this will give you twice of area of B D E F area of ABC so this too if you bring this side half of area of ABC is equal to area of BD okay so that's what your thought question is